built a lot of 3D printers at this point, and I would definitely say one of the most compelling things is how much better they've gotten. Not only from a documentation perspective, but also just mechanically superior. So I built a Cupcake, which was the MakerBot's original printer. I built a Thingomatic. I built a couple of Prussia Mendels. I built the original Mendel. I built a Mendel 90, and now I just have the joy of building that Taz kit. So Lowe'sBot uh, makes a number of printers. They've been helping innovate, and they do a lot of stuff with open source. And their latest printer is the Taz 3. And what we're building is the kit Taz. So it's a Taz 3, it's the same printer, except for it's new and it's in kit form, and so it's quite a bit cheaper. A great experience, you really learn a lot about the printer. The great thing about the kit Taz is that it's, it has a huge build area for a desktop 3D printer. It's 30 by 30 centimeters, um, which pretty much the standard size for a big 3D printer is about 20 by 20 centimeters, so it's significantly larger than that. It has a heated bed, which allows a lot of variety of materials, and it's a very sturdy, rigid machine, which allows for good accuracy. The Kit Taz is a great uh, build experience. It's very clear and intuitive. It still has a lot of those same gotchas. I mean, it's useful to have someone who can help you along, tell you if things are in the right direction or not, and make sure that it's calibrated and going to work.